if you are not analyzing your YouTube videos, you are missing out on hundreds, if not thousands of views. Just look at my channel there. I got 640 on this one, 40 on this one. The reason is unknown, so I just need to look through them. Well, in today's video, I'll teach you on how you can analyze your videos by yourself. I'll show you a good and bad examples of videos that I made. And if you still till the end, you will learn how to improve your videos by 10x with this secret strategy. So stick around. Your videos are probably not good. You clicked on this video so that you could analyze them. And the first thing I want you to know is that view count, CTR, average view duration, all of that metrics doesn't mean shit. Don't look at them at all, bro. Let's go to the YouTube studio of mine. If we go through analytics and we would go to the average view duration of my videos, and you could see that some of them has 50 seconds of it, but has 200 views. And some of them have 130 and have 20 views. So I don't really look at it, like especially with the thing when people come to YouTube studio just to check how many, how many like more views did they got? Oh, whether I have subscribers. Okay, let's see. 24 views. Okay, yesterday it was 23, bro. Views ain't cash, bro. This won't generate you money because the real reason why you do all of this is that you can retire your family. Like imagine being a YouTuber that think that, okay, so if this video got six views, I'm not gonna be successful thinking like this and there is people that has and sticking to the mindset like this no don't look at youtube studio at all it just doesn't worth it especially when you are starting out especially for those that are having views like me bro <laughs> like i'm gonna look at this and what okay okay i got low views okay this video got probably more views so you may wonder but how do I, not, I analyze them if I can't really see the direction of my videos, whether they are good or bad from YouTube studio, then how do I do it? And the answer to this is going through them. Boom, nobody was expecting this. Let me go through my channel and you may wonder, how do I know if they perform good or bad? Let's open this one, 24 minutes. I don't really sound like. First of all, for sure, you can look at the view count and you could see that, okay, this video didn't went viral. So how do you analyze it? Well, first of all, let's see and look at the title. This is why you don't like how you look on camera. And go, let's go through the basic stuff. I know many people say, I don't really sound like this in real life. I don't many people say i don't really sound like this in real life it's not even connected do you see that the title and the thumbnail is not connected with the thing that i say especially there you can see me looking at the camera telling something and there is a random guy random youtube page and it's connected, the thumbnail with title is connected, so it's good. But then in the video specifically, I talk about something that is not related. How do I sound on camera? Not how do I look on the title. So the hook is already gone. Look, I know many people say, I don't really sound like this in real life. I don't feel like I'm looking good on camera. I already want to click off. And this is basically the secret strategy that I want to teach you today is the hook, the intro of your video. How do you 10x your videos by analyzing them like a lion? Look at this. Let's be fast. This one I can see. Oh, bad performance, 12 views. Jeffrey, I said, oh, what did you They went viral from making talking head videos. I remember a time this YouTuber called Hamza was training his model on how he create videos. He basically was I remember a time this YouTuber called Hamza was changing his model and how he created videos. 
they went viral from making talking head videos. And I'm talking about the model of his videos. Not the talking head, but from the model from about his editing. Making highly editing fast pace, Jeffrey Adams video. But he changed to unedited, uncutted. Of when he changed to unedited, like it's it's kind of related, but you see it's not the best. Now let's look at the great videos of mine, like that get the performance, like 240. Let's do this one, 640. Recording videos will change your life. I remember a time me lying in the bed in my dorm. It was a moment when I realized I'm useless. I remember me lying in my bed in the dorm. It was the moment when I realized I'm useless. Do you see how this is just... This intro is just great. It starts with story, with something engaging for the viewer. There is a music that coming on. There is also the life-changing thing from the title connects with the story that I'm useless. This moment occurred when I was calling my phone in my phone. This moment occurred when I... Asked, and then this story comes in. So people are more interested in it. And this is the technique that I want you to use on your video. I want you to go through your videos that are good and bad, just overall through them, and look what's wrong with the first seconds. I'm not telling you to analyze the whole video because this may be the problem. This might be the problem that people click off. And yeah, this is kind of like view duration, but it's just a common sense. It's not even the metric. It's just a mindset that you use. So you analyze your videos so that you got a better performance. How do you analyze so that it makes sense? Is going through the first seconds, which is really important. And you know, you could say, what the hell is this dude is talking about? He had like 20 views, 50 views, five views, bro. <laughs> bro, I spent this video and I'm also learning. I did 170 of them. I'm as the guy that could say you that I got some engagement previously. I could say you that I was doing something wrong. And this thing that I was doing, you, you can see, I started looking at the videos because I learned this thing from my mentor. I started to look, go through them and see where is the hook. Actually, I didn't do this one. Well. I remember a time my friend asked me, how the hell are you so consistent in this YouTube thing? Well, how I overcome laziness and lack of discipline. How the hell are you so consistent in this YouTube sync? This is basically the Antonin, the reverse thing to being lazy, is being consistent in my business, which is YouTube channel of That's why. Well, it's a bit like pulling your Rubik's Cube blindfolded while he's trying a unicycle on a over it. I actually like this intro. This is a really good one. Uh, this is just making people confused. What the hell is he talking about? Solving the Rubik's Cube while he's riding the unicycle. It's really good intro that I've done. And you see the performance are there. Love from Japan, from India and from Nepal. So it is this small things. And the hook, the intro is like the most important of it. Because, well, let's say what's the most important thing is first of all, so that people click on your video. First of all, it's title and then your thumbnail. Even though I would not like really be focused on the thumbnail, because you see, I got like, let's open my popular ones. I got like, just random photos of my of me. Somewhere it's text, somewhere it's graphics, somewhere it's just me and they got views. So the thumbnails for starting out, not important. Titles is okay, let's take a look. because after they read the thing, they would click on it. So people that are interested in how to actually speak better would click on this video and then they will watch it and they watch it through the first seconds. And this video is actually didn't perform well as this one because the intro was bad. So the actionable step for you is that to analyze your videos and especially the first 30 seconds of it and then look at the title and use just brain, your brain, just come and think. Imagine that you are the viewer from the other side, that you are not the YouTuber, that you are the guy that just scrolling through YouTube and want to click on your video. Imagine he clicked or let's say like this. So you got this video in the feed. I would scroll and I would like, 
how to talk to camera when you don't feel like it. Okay, this is pretty much like interesting. I sometimes don't really want to record, but I need to because of deadlines. So let me click. And there is also like, and he's smiling. Okay, let's see, let's see. Just don't talk to it then. <laughs> I also like this intro so much, bro. Just don't talk to it then and then. Just don't talk to it then. And then, thank you for watching, bro. Imagine being confused, like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Like, how, if I don't feel like it, I shouldn't talk to it? Why? Like, you, you got a curiosity gap. The intro is engaging and it got some of the views. Yeah, for sure. It's not the five views like this one. The secret to the best posting schedule. Let's, I remember me deciding when to post my videos. Maybe every week, maybe every month, or maybe every day. I didn't know what should I do. This YouTuber was deploying it like this, and the other was like this. The other had every Sunday. I still didn't decide it though. What's the reason of saying this? Speak concisely, bro. Go straight to the point. I essentially would make a video on how to create better intros, better hooks. But this video is like, the intro is bad. So well, let me comment, intro is bad. <laughs> Anyways. Use the secrets thing which is first 30 seconds, become the guy that is from the other side of the screen. So just imagine that you are a random guy that scroll YouTube and go through your own videos. And if you still think that it's hard to analyze it and you need to go through all of these metrics and learn them all and look at the percentage, in I'm talking about the starting YouTubers there, bro. You are missing out on views if you don't do this because this is how you improve, basically. This is how I do it right now. I see, okay, this, this videos, I change it from like eight minutes to 28 minutes and they got not the best views. <laughs> this one also not the best views, but I changed the model a little bit. I stopped editing. And the thing that I've realized is that I have a bad freaking intro. This is why I worked so hard on this one. And I believe if you're still watching, it worked. And it could potentially become a banger video. Because I'm just trying to transfer, synthesize the thing that I've learned. And the proof is that, let's see how this video work. <laughs> well, I know that some people could stay in the question still, but I try this and it doesn't work. I don't have the common sense. And if so, there is me. You can book a call with me and I can go through your channel and let me think and look at it because then I will judge it like the different person do. Sometimes, you know, the people that are fat, let's say, and they go to the guy and ask, I'm fat, what should I do? The guy could say, okay, you need to go to the gym. You need to not overthink about the metrics. You need to not buy a best protein, you know? It is the same as the gym, essentially. Look, here it is. But when you ask the fat guy, what should he do to lose the weight? He would think and he would mumble. He would be like too emotional. Do you understand the difference? He would maybe go into some videos, check the analytics, see that, okay, maybe it's because my thumbnail is bad and uh, it's, it's just a luck. Maybe it's a luck, bro. To lose fat is just to be born without fat. So I don't have any escape, bro. This is how they think it. It's absolutely zero sense for me. So be the guy that has the view from a different point. Because then it is the power of mentors, basically. Why mentors are so good? Because they can go and look at your situation without emotions. Taking my brain power again, so I should probably end this video. But don't be that guy, that fat guy that is in his emotions and can't judge himself normally. Ask yourself a question. If I would not know myself, and if I would not know this channel that I'm on right now, 
if if this would not be my channel but just some random channel that i found would i watch the video would i watch it until the end would i click on the titles would i click on the thumbnails would i like this video and this is how you analyze it not in the over complicated way by going through freaking analytics every single top of it content audience and inspiration essentially one thing that you can look through is the metrics that i've learned from hamza the youtuber maybe you know him and he preached that the greatest metric on youtube is let me check where it is impressions so you go through your content through your analytics and then reach and then impressions because the thing with your video is that it doesn't matter what's inside of it if you have millions of impressions then you will get some of the views you know the click-through rate doesn't matter because if you get if many people see your video if you basically made a clickbait then some of them would click on you and some of them would watch it so it doesn't matter if you got a good click-through rate or not but it's kind of once again vague because you could have small impressions and more views but you can have like big impressions and small views so it was once again the metrics that i would not track he said that it's good maybe you would like to listen to him he has more authority bro he has two million subscribers or more but for me the thing that i've learned recently is that this so the final conclusion for you the final actionable step i want you to forget about youtube studio I want you to not open it every day as you're some kind of addict to a freaking statistics that doesn't give you money because essentially this is what we go to the money thing i want you to focus on the thing that you say in the first 30 seconds this is our secret technique and i want you to look at your titles whether they resonate with video or not there's two things this is the framework how you analyze your videos how you make them good is just by simply doing this because there in life in general you don't want to be nice to be a nice boy that goes through every single of it you want to be a good guy that makes a good content